Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Amazon Personalized Plugin for the Magento 2 platform. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you how the web store customers would be able to check their personalized products under their own account panel. And we'll be showing you how this how this plugin works and can be configured from the admin backend panel uh, by the Magento 2 web store owner. And before, the, before we proceed further to the uh, workflow at the front end and the back end, let me give you a small gist about this particular plugin. So basically, as soon as your customers uh, arrive at your web store and they are logged in, they'll be able to uh, check the personalized products. And thus, it would be providing a much more better, uh, better shopping experience to the customers. Basically, here we have used the Amazon personalization service. So with the machine learning feature, the commerce personalization feature starts feeding the ML engine with the customer behavior data like add to cart, add to wishlets or uh, be touching the product on the product page itself. So now as for the customer behavior, personal products are displayed to the customers at the web store front end. Moreover, this integration helps the store owners to increase customer engagement and get a chance of conversion as well. Apart from that, now the customers get a unique experience on the web store and will get products or services based on personalized data. So let's get ahead and let's see how this particular plugin works at the web store front end and lastly at the back end as well. So right now I'm at the uh, Amazon to do web store front end as you can see right now. So I'm not logged in right now. So I'll be tapping on the uh, sign in link at the top to bring up the login page. And thereafter we'll be logging into the uh, customer account. So uh, let me type in my uh, username and then my password for my account. So uh, now let me tap on the sign in button. And this would start logging me in to my customer account there so right now we can see that uh, I'm logged into my customer account as soon as I've logged into my customer account on the left hand side here you can see the personalized and recommended products for the customer so now these uh, uh, products uh, where do they basically come from so according to the, the customers behavior basically uh, so the ML engine actually checks uh, the different uh, uh, what we say as the behavioral traits of the customers for example uh, the product on which the uh, the, uh, the customer is currently uh, like uh, checking out the product or maybe uh, the products that the customer has added into his uh, shopping cart or maybe it uh, may be like the wish list as well so according to that uh, data is being extracted and as per the customer's behavior, then the personalized uh, products are getting displayed here at the web store front end for the customers to use. So basically, it um, it, uh, it what we say as uh, it provides a much more better experience to the customers, uh, and uh, they'll be able to get products and services basically based on their personal uh, data. So we have seen these examples within the Netflix as well. So as soon as the customers go. Uh, or log into the account panel basically uh, they are able to check uh, personalized videos and recommended videos as well according to the videos that they have already searched depending on the categories of the videos and uh, some uh, other data as well so now here for example if the customer adds some production to the cart or maybe to the wish list or he opens a product page uh, first and navigates to that product page checks the description of that product or something like that then what happens is that uh, this data is basically read out by the ml engine and according to that the personal uh, personalized and recommended product list is being basically populated here at the web store front end after the customer has logged into his account panel so for example if i go to a, a sports watch maybe uh, on a hoodie or uh, maybe a bag and the next time that it, uh, i log into my account or when i come back to the home page by tapping the luma so according to that those products were again uh, are basically populated here itself under the personalized and recommended product section so uh, that's how uh, it works in the web server front end and now let me take you to the back end panel and let me show you how it works uh, or how it can be basically configured from the admin backend panel uh, initially. So what we need to do is we need to log into the admin account panel for that. So uh, I'll be 
uh, entering my username and my password uh, for my admin backend panel and I'll just tap on the sign in button so after logging here you can see that I'm uh, right now at my admin dashboard and to configure this particular plugin uh, that's the Amazon personalization plugin for the Magento 2 platform. I'll navigate through stores and then configuration and on the configuration page under the web code block here you'll see the personalized settings here and under that we have the general settings with some uh, data there that needs to be configured initially before we make use uh, of this particular plugin so here we have different options uh, that need to be configured so here for the event ID access key ID secret key or the campaign ARN what you need to do is uh, I'll just take you to the uh, uh, user guide of this particular plugin and I've also attached that particular link within the description as well so you can go through that in the description as well so let me take you to the uh, user guide first so here I'm at the uh, user guide for this particular plugin so basically you can go through what is Amazon personalized and uh, uh, the data that we need uh, here for uh, configuring this particular uh, section here for the general settings of this particular plugin what you need to do is you need to create an AD AWS Amazon Web Services account and then you can log into that and uh, you can also check the pricing here according uh, Lee apart from that you can also get the air and campaign number so here we have given the path that you can uh, basically make use of to get the air number so you'll get uh, the AWS account first and then you need to get the Aaron, uh, Aaron uh, campaign number after that you have to uh, get the event ID so we have also provided the uh, path for that and lastly you can get the access key ID and the secret key so for that you just need to uh, come to the uh, user guide that I've just added uh, within the description and there we have it all the links for the required data so now let's go through each of these options one by one so the very first option that we have is uh, the personalized status whether you want to enable it or disable it choosing a yes would uh, enable this personalized status at the web server front end and then you need to enter your campaign ARN number that you'll get after you've registered yourself at the AWS service there then you need to enter your event ID then the access key and the secret key as I've just showed you here so here you'll have the ARN cam campaign then uh, you have the event ID the access key and the secret key as well and uh, lastly you need to choose the region where you're using this particular plugin so, or uh, basically uh, for the uh, AWS thing so under the region you need to choose your region for the same and uh, lastly you just need to tap on the save configuration button so uh, so uh, that was much about the Amazon personalized plugin for the Magento 2 platform and uh, if you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin or you have suggestions as well then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.uvds.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.